Welcome to the first edition of 8-Minute Math, where the goal of every video is that we teach the content in 8 minutes or less. Today we are looking at exploring equivalent systems of equations. So here we go. The first thing you need to know is what the word equivalent means. The basic definition is that equivalent means two things are equal in value. Here's an example. The fraction 1 half, where 1 is half of 2, that is equivalent to the fraction 3 sixths because 3 is half of 6. Both of these fractions look different, but they are equal in value. Now, if a math example isn't going to do the trick for you, here's a real-world example. In the U.S. and Canada, we typically call it soccer, but in the rest of the world, the equivalent word is football. They both mean the same sport, but they have different names depending on where you are in the world. These words are equivalent. Now that we have a basic understanding of equivalent, let's look at some math problems. Here are two systems of equations that are exactly the same. So, of course, they are equivalent. They are printed exactly the same. But let's say I took the first equation in this second system over here and I multiplied it by 2, which you are allowed to do. Well, 2 times x is 2x, 2 times y is 2y, and 2 times 3 is 6. What we have now done is created a new equation with a new system that is going to be equivalent to the one that we had at the beginning of the problem. This second equation just gets brought down, and then the new equation that we got from multiplying by 2 becomes the new equation in the new system. And this new system is equivalent to the original one. The only thing we did was multiply the top equation by 2, and that allowed us to make a new equation that is still going to be equivalent to the original system. So this is the thing you kind of have to look for. Was there a number that you could multiply by to make the two systems equivalent? That's the first thing you're going to want to check for. So in this example, I would suggest you pause the video and try to answer it yourself. Yes or no, are these equivalent systems? And here we go with the answer. If you notice, in the top equation of the original system, if we multiplied it by 2, we're going to get the top equation in the second system. 2 times negative x is negative 2x. 2 times y is 2y. And 13 times 2 is 26. By using the distributive property over here with the number 2, we are able to rewrite this top equation into this new one in red, and that is the same equation that you see in the second system at the top. The uh, second equation here stayed exactly the same. So basically, yes, these, these systems are equivalent because the only thing that changed as you went from the first system to the second system was that the number 2 was distributed to that top equation. Here's another one. Again, pause the video and see if you can determine, are these equivalent systems? And here we go. In the top equation, you're going to notice all of the coefficients are pretty much the same, but all of the signs are just the opposite. That means in the top equation, negative 1 was multiplied to all of those terms, which basically flips the signs on all of those coefficients, the coefficient being the number in front of the variable. So positive 2x times negative 1 becomes negative 2x. Negative 4y y times negative 1 is positive 4y, and 14 times negative 1 is negative 14. That is the exact equation that we see at the top of the second system. And then in the second equation, you're going to notice that the number 2 was distributed to make all of the terms in the second equation of the new system. 3x times 2 is 6x, 5y times 2 is 10y, and negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. So again, we have equivalent systems. Here's another example. This one is going to give you a little bit more of a challenge, so don't be too discouraged if you don't get it. Feel free to pause or just listen for the answer. Are these equivalent systems? All right, and here we go. Now, 
maybe you notice in the bottom equation that if you multiplied it by 2, 2x times 2 is 4x, 2y times 2 is 4y, and 6 times 2 is 12. That is the second equation of the second system. That's good. It's good if you notice that. But here's the trickier thing. The top equation you can actually get by doing something to the original equation. And here is the only other piece of learning that needs to happen in this video. You are also allowed to add the equations in the original system to get a new equation in a new system. In this case, the top equation of the second system, we're going to actually get it by adding the two equations in the original system. This is something else you're allowed to do that I did not specify at the beginning of the video, but I'm doing it now. You are allowed to add the two equations together in order to get a new equation that will become part of the new system x plus 2x is 3x, 3y plus 2y is 5y, and 7 plus 6 is 13. That is the top equation of the new system. So again, you are allowed to multiply by a number like we did with the bottom equation here. That's what we've done in all the previous examples. What I'm now telling you that you are also allowed to do is you can add the two equations in your original system in order to get a new equation in the new system, and these are still equivalent. Now, let's see if you can apply all of that learning on the last two practice problems. Here we go. Are these equivalent systems? Yes or no? Pause the video. And here we go really quickly. If maybe you applied what you just learned about adding the two equations together, you would find that 7x plus 5x, or 2x plus 5x is 7x, y plus 6y is 7y, and negative 4 plus 4 is 0. That is the top equation. But the bottom equation, you might have noticed that you could multiply it by 2, but 2x times 2 is 4x, y times 2 is 2y, and negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Uh-oh, that is not the same thing that we see printed in the second system. It says negative 4, and we got negative 8. That means these are not equivalent systems because we did not get the exact same equation right there. And then here's the last practice problem. Are these equivalent systems? Pause the video. Good luck. And here we go. The top equation, if you multiplied it by 3, you would get x times 3 is 3x, 2y times 3 is 6y, 3 times 3 is 9. That is the top equation of the new system. And then if you added the two equations together, x plus 4x is 5x, 2y plus 5y is 7y, and 3 plus 6 is 9. That is the bottom equation. That brings us to the end of our equivalent systems uh, explore review, we have an answer of yes for this final example. And the basic idea is that you are allowed to not only multiply equations in your system by a number to get new equations in a new system, you are also allowed to add your two equations together in order to get equations in the new system. That is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.